I got a number of questions about the little interface boards I made to decouple the Tiny G from the light placer wiring and how to make your own. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, it's time for the big giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. 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 After someone else asked me about making their own, I realized I was sitting on a bunch of these boards and they were just gathering dust. So I said, if you're willing to pay for the shipping, I'll just send you one. So while supplies last, you can get your own that way. Just write to me and uh, I'll set it up. But wait, there's more. Then I realized that why should I have this guy manually placing these things when I actually have the pick and place already assembled and working? So I'm going to do that today and assemble these boards. These are not complex boards with all of 10 different component values. Still, if I'm making 10 of them, it's worth setting up the machine and saves you the trouble. All right, same shirt, different day. I got the boards populated, everything I have left. As you can see, uh, there's about 20 components on here. If you're making your own, it's not a big deal. Actually, the only that are required are uh, really the FETs and the snubber diodes, uh, but still I like to have the LEDs and some bypass caps here to smooth things out. If you're gonna be doing your own, or if you get one of the giveaways, the giveaways then you're still gonna have to put in all the through holes, and there's gonna be a ton of instructions and all that uh, in the link below or on the page where you found this video. If you want one of the, the giveaways, giveaways, there are three conditions. I have to have one left. You have to handle shipping to wherever it is you are, and though this only applies to a small minority I know for my open source software that there are these guys this guy who thinks that you owe him something because you give him something for free and he's uh, you know clueless helpless and rude uh, so message to that guy don't be that guy whether you get one of the giveaways or you build your own most of the job is going to be putting in the through hole components and wiring up these guys once all the parts are in place it's time to hook it up to the tiny G by attaching the two wings here most of the connections go through these uh, the pin headers so that's great but annoyingly some of them don't so you're going to have to wire according to the schematic there. Uh, this is the lead power, this is the e-stop, and over here is the actual power. Now on the motor and power wing, uh, the cap is optional, but you need the header here. And I use a DC jack for easy plug unplug from the supply, but you can just use this header and put in the power there. The important thing to remember is that you want a good enough gauge to carry all that current for all the motors. On the other side, you've got the sensors and control here. Uh, basically the, the, the LED, the e-stop, and this guy's interesting because it's a little header that allows you to switch with these two jumpers. You can go, oh, I'm using uh, OpenPNP, or on the other side, I'm using Light Placer. So that's pretty cool. There's a similar jumper on the interface board, and that's to select how you're dealing with the ground from the shield, either straight to ground or USB shield style, where only the uh, AC comes through. All the instructions will be available on the page where you found this or on the link below the video if it's on YouTube or whatever. I hope it's as useful to you as it is to me. Let me know how it goes and enjoy your pick and place.